my love, where are we this morning? Good morning, we made it to Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is beautiful out here. So uh, it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. We had a late arrival here in Puerto Rico. The aim of this video is two things. First one, find some authentic Puerto Rican food. Definitely need food. <laughs> that one's for us. The second one is we're hoping that we can experience uh, some of the best things there is to do here. This is actually our first time here in San Juan, but we have a list right here. We have places that we want to see. <laughs> They're not even afraid of you. <laughs> hey, look, look, babe. These are all you, and that's me. <laughs> I think one thing we can say about Puerto Rico, about San Juan, already, only been on land about 10 minutes, but this is a beautiful city. My goodness, look at, look at this. All of the colors, the colorful buildings, the colonial kind of architecture, it's yeah. just, I love it. Magnificent. The people have been really nice so far, too. We just got on land, we're already okay. loving it. We have arrived at our first stop, which is Castillo San Cristobal. Uh, Castillo San Cristobal. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that with the right accent, but I tried. At least I got the words right this time. This is considered the largest fortress built in the Americas. It was built to uh, fortify the east part of the city by the Spaniards. And it actually took 150 years to complete this thing. It's three large levels. And if you look behind us, look at the view of Wonder of the Seas. But look at Wonder of the Seas. Like your average size cruise ship. Wow. This thing is huge. So it costs us $10 a person to get in. Right now they're only accepting card or like any kind of card. So debit, credit, I think traveler's check, no cash. That price gets you in both castles for two days actually. We're only here for one day. Mm -hmm because we're on the cruise ship, but you could potentially get two days at both castles for $10 per person. So, not bad. And they said if on average, it depends on how long you take to kind of walk around and how thorough you are with looking at everything. On average, it's about 45 minutes to get through this particular castle. Babe, I think I see a perfect IG spot. Yeah? Look at this. <laughs> so you know what we're about to do. the scenes of what she does to get the shot for IG. <laughs> Dress blowing up and everything. I got shorts on. Like, they're not even like, if she, if she fell, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> but did you get it? I got the shot. That's all that matters. This fort could take a good portion of your day. There's so much to see, so much to learn, so much to read. Literally. But we came on a cruise ship. So we gotta, <laughs> we gotta move on if we're gonna see any more. <laughs> don't watch, watch out for this. Oh. Don't fall down the street. I don't usually use the term influencer. I prefer creator <laughs> or creative. But y'all, we climbed up there to take an IG picture. I saw that spot and I wanted to take a picture on top and with the water in the background. And ever since we left, there's been like five people doing the same pose. Yeah, so, so no, you gotta tell it like this, man. I, uh, she got up there and she pulls. I was like, "Why don't you put your legs up?" So she put her she, she put her back against the thing, just like that, and her legs up. And we took a picture. Nobody was doing that when we got there. Since we left, we've been gone for like ten minutes from that spot. And then we wrapped back around. And, and we like, came back around. Everybody. People still doing that same pose, <laughs> one after another. Apparently, I had a good idea. That, that was my. You had partly the Thank idea. You. I started Thank the you. idea, and you kind of refined it. We'll say that. Although I have to admit that we were probably not the first ones. We, I can no. almost guarantee we weren't the first no. ones to do it just in, in the not. past 20 minutes. We're definitely not the first ones. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good though. It's a good pose. It's a good spot too. I felt important for 10 minutes. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool that you come to Puerto Rico and you find a Haitian gallery. Let's look in here. Oh, Babe, it's ironic that we had to come to Puerto Rico to find something from Haiti. 
<laughs> we just left really Haiti. Is. We just left Haiti. <laughs> but in Haiti, they were like, you couldn't even think and look at what was in their store because they were on you so hard. But here, it's like, you can just look and, and find something you like. I was. So you don't really have a lot of people trying to push for you. Yeah. And we were, uh, we were trying to find a mask. They got a whole bunch of masks. They have stuff from Haiti, but also lots of stuff from Puerto Rico. They have local arts and crafts. But they have a lot of little stuff like souvenirs for uh, Keychain. <laughs> keychains, jewelry, all kinds of little knickknack things that you can get. It's a really good store, actually. I really like it. We got gifts for ourselves, for my dad and his wife, for our children, everything. Right here in the Haitian gallery, right here. One thing you can set your clock to. If we go somewhere and there's like frozen ice or ice cream or anything like that, Fabiola's gonna get some. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, it's necessary, babe. Please. It's so good. It's How's not it even. Is it like stuff we had in Mexico City? It's kind of like the stuff we had in Mexico City. I forget what it's called. This is um, passion, oh. fruit, passion fruit flavor. So we reached one of the most iconic spots here in Old San Juan. Portaliza Street, as you can see, they're still putting up more and more butterflies on top, so they've closed the street down. They're still working on it, so they closed it down. But you can, you can take pictures at the front, but they won't let you go down it. <laughs> Behind us is the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. This is a cathedral that was built in 1540. It's actually the second oldest cathedral in all of the Americas. It also holds the tomb of the founder of San Juan, Ponce de Leon. There's a museum inside, my love. Should we go in or? We probably don't have time don't to go in. I don't know if we have time today, but we'll have to come back. This is another reason why you gotta come spend like a whole day, in, like a whole weekend well, yeah, in Puerto Rico. Say, you need a few days to do everything. On to the next, my love. Time to go. I think that San Juan is like city of cats. There you go. And they're just lounging like they own the place too. There's a lot. Where was another place we went to that had a bunch of cats, a bunch of strays? Where was it? No, it was Mexico City had a, a bunch of dogs. No, but I'm saying like a bunch of stray cats. There was a place we've been to. I can't remember where it was. Atlanta, Georgia. No, <laughs> it's dogs in Atlanta too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, babe. Look how big and grand it is. Yeah. It's magnificent. Look in the ocean. Wow. Got to be completely real with you guys. You're going to see this on our video. I'm sure you've seen it on many other videos. It does not compare to seeing it in real life. de la princesa this is another place you want to visit when you come to old san juan what do you think of this walkway babe this avenue this walkway is like picturesque <laughs> it's like a really nice path next to the shore to and we're come, we're here on the perfect time of day too it's yeah it's in the evening and the lights the city lights are going up and so it's like really kind of romantic feel to it and just relaxing with the water. My love, this might be as close as we get to finding our authentic Puerto Rican food. Well, okay. I saw a couple of restaurants, but frankly, I don't want to go way back in the city. We're almost back by the boat. We want to do as little walking as possible now. At this point. <laughs> so we found some churros. Because we still have a lot of walking to do on the ship. Is it the bomb? It's got that teller feeling. Let me see you talk with your mouth full. <laughs> no, it's so crunchy and crispy. Yeah? The Nutella. Let me see it. It's right. It's right? And the Nutella looks like it's inside. Yeah, it's, it's fill, it said filling on it. I didn't realize that. They don't, they don't, not skimping on the, the filling either. It's on so the Nutella. Good. Yeah, Whoa. we haven't eaten since breakfast. We haven't eaten since breakfast. We haven't even had water since breakfast, so we had to get some of that. And it's like 5 p.m. now. 
After we watched the sunset in port, we headed back to the Wonder of the Seas, grabbed some dinner, met up with some friends, then we headed to the Aqua Theater for Royal Caribbean's new show, Intense. And the show was most definitely intense. Even though they were only able to give us the first 15 minutes of Intense, it was good enough to make us consider coming back on the Wonder just to see the rest of the show. That does it for our day in Puerto Rico on Wonder of the Seas. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next adventure.